can't dye your hair during this quarantine because your mom doesn't allow you to, how about you dye your clothes? The Y2Ks are in full swing again and tie-dye is back in fashion. I'm going to show you how to do it with 5 pesos. So this is the dress I want to thrift flip. It's, I only got it for like 20 pesos at the Ukai and I really love the way it looks, the button down. If anything, I actually don't want to do anything much for this dress except take it in. However, I don't know if you guys can see it but there's a stain right there. It's a light red stain. There's also just stains everywhere on the clothing. If I dye it some other color, it's going to look brighter nicer and it's also just going to get rid of that stain. I also have some shirts that I want to tie-dye. Here is another one. Very oversized sweater. It's actually unique look. But as you can see, there's actually stains. The fabric's so nice. What what else can you expect from unique glow? I just want to get rid of that stain. So let's see what we can do with this. So we're first starting off this project by just boiling some water and I am boiling 4 liters of water over here. Now the amount is up to you, but um, just make sure it's enough to cover your whole garment. Now with each liter of water, you want to add 1 tablespoon of sodium chloride, NaCl or also known as salt. This is supposed to help the dye settle in and not wash out. And that, folks, is just about the amount of knowledge I retained from grade 9 chemistry. However, upon reading the instructions, you're actually supposed to add the salt after you put the dye in. But we're gonna talk about that later on. Get someone who can cook for you. Okay, don't do that. So turn the heat up and allow it to boil. Once it boils, just put it in a plangana or a timba big enough to fit your garment. And now it's time to add the dye. This is Venus dye. For today, I am using orange. And depending on how intense you want the color to be, you will need more or less sachets of this dye. I suggest mixing the dye in a separate small container first before you add it to your garment just so that you're sure it's well dissolved. You may also want to test it on a small patch first to see if the color is as intense as you want it and if the color will turn out as you want in your garment. But if you have balls like me, you're just going to put it straight into the timba and just hope for the best. Once it's all mixed up, just put in your garment. Make sure to constantly agitate it and don't leave it there or else it will not allow the dye to distribute evenly around the clothing. Yeah, nagiging orange fish Yay! In the meantime, while we're waiting for that to develop, we're going to do a tie dye. For this sleeve bottle, I have plastic bottle ng milk. I'm going to poke a hole sa taas with a knife that I have to heat up sapphire. If you're young, make sure you have your adult supervision. I'm 18, I can do whatever I want. Ta-da! And then fill it up with the same saline solution that we did. Then add your dye of your choice. I'm using this violet dye, or so it says it's violet. Mix it up and then you have your dye. So I'm taking this white shirt. So I take a fork, stab it in there, and twirl it like heady spaghetti. Then take some rubber bands to hold that in place. And you're supposed to section it off like a pie, and then each slice of that pie will be in a different color so that you'll have a cooler effect. However, I only had one dye, and I just basically filled it up with this ugly puke camote color looking as violet. Don't be shy to put a lot because I regret not putting a lot. Just, just go all ham with the color. By this point, you're also going to allow it to develop for around 15 minutes. And then you can rinse it. Taking the orange one, I'm just going to rinse it in some cold water, no soap, no anything. Just rinse it out until the water goes clear. So far, looking at the stain that there used to be here, it's already gone. So that's a good sign. Oh, 
removing all the rubber bands. Are you ready? This how it looks like. Whoa! What the heck? It's so cute! I, sh I wish I added more. But it's not bad. Especially like for a first try. Although I really hate the color. We're still waiting for the tie-dye to dry. I finally got rid of my old table, which you guys saw in my room makeover video. I was able to barter it with two storage boxes that will be of great help to my up-and-coming thrift business and also just in general because I have a lot of things in it. It's crazy. <laughs> I just received the news that I did not make it for the brand ambassador search of a particular brand. And the thing is, I work really hard on this. My best friend, Sam, when I told her, should I join or should I not? And then she's like, it's okay if you don't get in. You can just make a video and title it. I tried to be a brand, am <laughs> a brand ambassador. I'm just the type of person that when I do something and when I do stick to it, I stick to it like that. As in, I go all in. I'm never 50-50. I never half as anything as long as there's a desire to do that certain thing. And it's a shame that these brands don't see that. <laughs> I'm not saying these girls are deserving. I'm not saying I hate the brand. I'm just saying it was really disappointing for me. However, it will be the last brand ambassador search that I'm ever going to do because I don't want to chase brands who can't see my value. I want to receive the items because I earned it and because they know I can do it without even having to join the ambassador search. Oh my god, it sounded so cocky. <laughs> Just it's not me cocky or arrogant. It's called manifesting bitch. Have you heard of it? <laughs> Back to the tie dye. Oh it is a new day and it's very sunny and it looks so nice that I just can't help but take this as a sign that I have to try my tie-dye one more time. And the opportunity came up for me to get this. And I got this. Turn! I got more dye. And this time I got blue and pink. Hopefully I can mix them together to make a lilac. Let's try that before my dogs get so noisy that you can't hear me anymore. I made my own purple color using blue and pink to make a more pastel lilac type of shade and I used smaller bottles as well. I also made sure to use just a little bit of dye so that it turns out pastel. Then I got one of my old school sandals, the ones you wear under your uniform, twirled it, rubber banded it, and then just alternated with pink and purple. This time I really made sure that I was pouring a lot especially since this color was way more lighter. And since I already had the ability to create the lilac color that I always wanted, I decided to try and recreate it for a big batch. However, I don't know what went inside my mind and I used like so much blue compared to my smaller batches. So that was a wrong move. No matter how much pink I added, it just wasn't turning the same shade as I did before. Nevertheless, I pondered on and I placed my Uniqlo sweater in it. Now this is where the magic happens. I accidentally left this thing sitting there for two minutes untouched. I left my clothing not completely submerged merged in the solution because of my Labrador who got Butter. inside of the house. And I also looked for my gloves because the water was so hot. So when I tried to agitate it again, the color was just not even. I also did not mix it well enough. So I was really worried that this weather was not going to turn out the way I wanted it to. Nevertheless, it was time for the next step, ironing. Why can't I stand this? This is what Filipinos call a uh, kabayo. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but this is what I know it's called. It's called the kabayo. But anyway, it's an ironing board. And I'm still feeling pretty sick, so I'm sorry if my voice sounds ridiculous. But anyway, let's get ironing. So to iron this, you just want to use the right settings for your fabric. May it be cotton or polyester. Oh, it's changing color. Did you see that? This side has been ironed. This side has not been ironed. Why is it this one changed color, but the the tie that I want didn't? Interesting. Anyway, whenever you iron, it changes color a bit and then it reverts back. Although it did get lighter. 
or maybe I'm just colorblind. Okay, stop right there. I just started reading the instructions on this thing and it actually says that you have to iron it while it's wet. And you're also supposed to add the salt after the dye, not with the water before the dye. So there's two different instructions here. It's up to you guys which you're gonna follow. Mine turned out fine. But anyway, I'm going to give you guys a helpful cheat sheet which you can screenshot in 3, 2, 1, now. So now it's time to, well, do the thrift flips on this thing because it's not going to transfer color anymore. So let's do that. You guys enjoyed that episode of okay diy in our next episode we're going to be altering his pieces and give it some more bizarre so if you want to see that then consider subscribing if you don't want to i can't force you as always helpful links and tips are in the description box below so maybe consider subscribing as a thanks if it was helpful